Hello, it's Galen Martling. Today I have a watercolor slimline card and it's with florals and it's a hand painted background that is going to be behind these florals. And so I'm using stamping also, stamps by Unity. One is called Wayward Blooms and the other kit is Gotta Love Sentiments. Now this stamp is huge. It's a big silhouette stamp and it's by Donny, Donna Downey. It's huge, you see it's bigger than my hand. So I'm going to use most of that on a slimline card base. And this is, uh, this is going to incorporate most of a front panel of the card. And I'm going to use watercolor paper Canson watercolor paper and Alton New watercolor half pans. And I'm using a watercolor brush and later on I'm going to use another paint brush for splatters. And so I decided to use two colors of blue and I am just trying to create a sort of an abstract background of rectangles in watercolor. Just sort of a hand drawn or a hand painted look. An imperfect look that's going to be just an accent behind the flowers. And so this is easily done just by drawing uh, or painting a circle or a rectangle or square or whatever you'd like, uh, just to give it some sort of background. Now I started with the light color and I added on the corners, uh, uh, some of the corners, I added a darker blue into that watercolor. And so I mixed, I pre-mixed a light blue and then a, a dark blue and then I go in and start with a light blue and sort of frame out that rectangle and then there'll be other shapes there'll be a square and then some of them are going to be off the page a little bit looking like they're going off the page just to make it look like some sort of background interest and so I did this a few more times using the watercolor brush you can use a water brush also it's a brush with a little well of water well uh, attached to it and um i just don't seem to get the control i like with the the water brush so i use a paint brush i can easily blot off the water if i have excess water on it using a paper towel that's just how i like it i find that the brushes have a tip that doesn't get so wiry and wayward anyway so i like to have the tip of these brushes to stay very smooth for for my um, watercolor and so i just go ahead and you know i just keep adding um color and then in the corner in one corner of each of those squares i add darker a darker shade of blue and uh, you can do as little or as much as you like. I wanted to stop there. When it dries, it dries a little bit lighter. I heat set that and got it nice and dry. Now I'm using the original Misty to stamp out using Ranger Archival ink and Jet Black to stamp out these flowers right over, right over that top watercolor panel. I, I did it with three passes of the stamping in the same spot to get it really nice and crisp black color of those silhouettes. Now I mixed Liquitex, Liquitex acrylic paint in white with along with water and I mixed it with a paintbrush and splattered white specks all over that front panel there. It just gives it such an interesting artsy look. For the dyes I'm using, I'm using my favorite thing Slimline Starter Kit and Slimline Slide In Dynamics uh, for this and um, you can also use a paper trimmer just to get the similar look. Um, that particular kit has this fun round circle accent for the top. And I'm also using the Unity Hello sentiment from the kit. I added a little adhesive to the card and also some droplets that look like little water droplets to finish off the card. I hope you like this. I hope you give it a try. It's really simple and it's so pretty. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you subscribe to my channel and have a great day.